Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. And today's Gospel is from St. Matthew, chapter 24, verses 13 through 22. And it is Jesus' prophecy of the Great Tribulation and the Abomination of Desolation. Today I'm going to read directly from the Orthodox Study Bible, which gives the Orthodox Church's interpretation of the Abomination of Desolation. I quote, Daniel's prophecy of the abomination of desolation, found in Daniel chapter 9, verse 23, was fulfilled in the year A.D. 70, when the Roman general Titus entered the most holy place and had a statue of himself erected in the temple before having the temple destroyed. The Lord's phrase, when you see, indicates that many of the disciples would still be alive at that time. The words, Whoever reads, let him understand, are commonly understood to be inserted by Matthew into Christ's address as an encouragement to his early Christian flock who may have witnessed this event. Now, let's read today's Gospel according to St. Matthew. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. And this Gospel of the Kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come. So when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by the prophet Daniel standing in the holy place, let the reader understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let the one who is on the housetop not go down to take what is in his house. And let the one who is in the field not turn back to take his cloak. And alas for women who are pregnant and for those who are nursing infants in those days. Pray that your flight may not be in winter or on a Sabbath, for then there will be great tribulation, such as has not been seen since the beginning of the world until now, no, and never will be. And if those days had not been cut short, no human being would be saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. The Word of God. Well, have a good day, everybody. I'll see you again tomorrow. May God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord.